Hello. This is the Friday edition of We Are the Church. And my name is Carla Turner, and I am doing this since Fridays are Bill's, Pastor Bill's day off. When I have an opportunity to provide one of these devotions, I'm always glad to do so because it gives me reason to search through my library to find something appropriate to share. I'm not comfortable talking off the top of my head, so I tend to write everything down so that I don't miss something. As I was thinking of today's devotion, I was considering the world situation and the politics involved. I was also considering the change and shift that Bill has been talking about in his sermons for the last few weeks and using that topic in some manner. However, as Russia stands at the Ukrainian border, I felt it was more imperative to emphasize the need for mercy and for more people to show mercy and consideration for mankind. As I was looking through the library shelves, I found a book called Great Is Your Reward by Norman K. Eliot. This book is about living the Beatitudes. It must have been something I picked up over 30 years ago or more at a workshop or some other event where the author was presenting. It was inscribed to Carla that I may be so in union and identity with God that great rewards are natural. Each of the Beatitudes was given an explanation and I have chosen several passages that seem to be the best of the words he chose to define and illuminate what it means to be merciful and how Jesus gave us the best example of how to do just that. The scripture comes from Matthew 5, verse 7, which says, Blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy. Mercifulness means unmerited goodness and unearned generosity. Jesus expressed it this way, But I say to you that here, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To him who strikes you on the cheek, Offer the other also, and from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your coat as well. Give to everyone who begs from you, and of him who takes away your goods, do not ask them again. And as you wish that men would do to you, do so to them. This comes from Luke six, twenty-seven to 31. And you might find that these are familiar words because they were part of the scripture that was used last Sunday in worship. To be merciful, which parenthetically is generous without limit, is to be like God. It is a result of coming into right relationship with him. It is evidenced by coming into harmony with all creation because all creation is an expression of God himself. Life is merciful. It is unearned and unmerited. We do not have to go back and recreate the great masterpieces of literature. They are handed to us freely. We do not have to recreate the great paintings of the world. No, they are all there for our enjoyment. We have at our fingertips the results of millions of years of human striving and achievement. We do not have to rediscover the laws of science which make life so comfortable for us today. No, 
They are given freely for our use and benefit. Life is extravagant and generous and free. It is merciful. Jesus was the incarnation of mercy. Jesus was generous beyond the call of duty with his time and talents. In spite of sufficient cause for resentment against the scribes and Pharisees, he took time out of a busy schedule to talk with Nicodemus at night. He spent himself on the multitudes and taught his disciples to do the same, so much so that they had no time even to eat. After Peter denied him, Jesus still treated him with understanding and kindness. When two other disciples misunderstood his intention and mission in life, even though they'd been walking with him for three years, they wanted positions of power in an earthly regime. Jesus was patient and kind in his explanation and treatment of them. He had time for the individual in the midst of the crowd, the blind man, the crippled woman, and so many others. Even when he was suffering the agonies of death on a cross, he had the mercy and generosity to comfort the dying thief by his side. The merciful do receive mercy. It is a law of life. It is the way the universe is built. It reflects the very nature of God himself. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. This is a great secret of abundant living and achievement. It is not simply an idealistic religious precept. It is not limited to any one aspect of living. It is not some dreamy hope. Rather, it embraces the allness of living. It is a way of life itself. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the example your son Jesus has been for us. The world needs more people to show mercy to their fellow inhabitants of this world. As we walk this journey together, let us be tolerant, inclusive, and merciful, following Jesus and glorifying you by our thoughts, words, and actions. In his name we pray. Amen. Remember to have a great week. Remember to wash your hands, stay safe, and tell someone you love them a whole lot. Have a good week.